Hi everybody, welcome to Northern Fell Running. We're up here tonight at Rothbury and we're taking part in a midweek race called the Beacon Hill Fell Race. Up here at Lord and Shaw's car park. Everybody getting ready. And we are going up there. Right here we go then, we're off. Beacon Hill Fell Race. I'm already getting licked by Maury. <laughs> She's already telling us to shut up. <clears throat> so this route is taking us along the crags. Up with Simon's side. Oh, I'm trying to get past it there, Waco. <laughs> and then uh, it takes a reverse route of the Simon side Cairns race, which I've never done before. So the first part I'll know, second bit I won't. That was an absolutely brutal start. To my right, we are, we've got Rothbury below us, Cheevit Hills in the distance. We're heading up to the first cairn here. Hard work. Don't forget guys, like and subscribe to the channel. Makes a big difference to us, trying to reach that. 1,000 subscribers mark. We've got about 100 videos now featuring northeast fell races and trail races. So if you're into that sort of thing, give us a like and subscribe. Thank you very much. Here we go. First little can. A lot of view. Class. So, I'd imagine we're going to go along here about a mile and a half, two miles, and then turning left into parts of this area that I don't know. <coughs> so that should be interesting. Well, we're here at the second peak, top of the second climb. <coughs> oh, another tough one. I don't know how many of these little hills we've got to get up and over, but I think there's another one to come and then we might have to turn left. Oh, talk about short, sharp, sharp though. Oh. I'm sure you've all no doubt realised that we are missing Lee today. Lee's not feeling very well, so he's sitting this one out. So one of us had to uh, show the courage, the determination. So I hope you're feeling a bit better, Lee. <coughs> and I'll see you on uh, the weekend for that park run. Okay. On our way up to the third climb, hanging in here behind Rob Shepard, <coughs> who I'm going to try not to let get away from us. What do you think, Rob? <laughs> he always beats us. Don't know why I'm wasting my breath. Oh. 
off peak. Uh, wow. I can see some of the runners. Go to the right of me. The front runners. Just clap past the fifth can. I'm running out of numbers. Here we go. This must be the new bit. Right. Haven't done this yet. So this is what I'm talking about. Follow this path guys. <coughs> Lovely shot he is there. A few of the mountain rescue guys out here at night. Always good to see them. So this path is taking us round the back of the crags. And look at that view in front of us. Flat as a pancake. Woo! Ah, now I'm following this fence line for a bit. Whoop. So there's the rear view. What we just ran down. Definitely not familiar with this at all. Sort of starting to lose my bearings a bit. I think in about half a mile we'll probably hang a left and start the return journey. Whew, that was naughty. Yeah, see there's some runners come behind me there. I better get a move on because I'm losing sight of the guys in front of me, which means I'm slowing down a bit. <coughs> Well, this is nice. Little valley full of ferns. <coughs> you can see how <laughs> indistinct the path is. It's not very well used. A bit more of an adventure, I suppose. Well, I did it again. I love getting lost. So there we go. I've lost one place. <laughs> Two places. Oh, and that's what I missed. What an idiot. Oh. So we're running adjacent to the crags there in the distance. We're on the lower level return journey. And we've probably got two and a half miles left by my reckoning. Unless I get lost again, of course. Right, we're still navigating our way around the back of the crags. But I can detect just a little gentle climb kicking in now. So I presume that we are heading back towards the first pile of stones, the first cairn. <clears throat> well, it looks like we're going to miss off the cairn. Looks like we're going to go around it. So we'll exit halfway up the hill from the start point. So the start climb, we are going to exit halfway up that, I think. <clears throat> Which will be nice, because then I have to climb up that bloody big hill again. Okay, I was right everybody. We've got around the cairn. We're coming. There's a car park in front of us. Lord and Shores. So we're up again. Yeah. It's going to be about seven mile in total at the finish. Well, that was a fantastic race, guys. Nice and cheap. Midweek. Wednesday night, five pounds, you get a marshalled, marked out, brilliant fell race. Go and check it out for next year, get yourself signed up. And uh, we're nearly there. Oh. <coughs> Here we go. 
finish line. Oh, that was a bit naughty. Well, guys, that's the end of the Beacon Hill Fell race. Just here at the end. Wait for a few more of the runners coming in. There'll be a little presentation, and uh, we're going to present Wayne over there in the green t-shirt with his prize from our competition. He was the one that won the top prize, the Sunto watch. So we'll be giving that to him shortly. So hope you've enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next race. So up here in Northumberland, we all keep a pack of uh, trained flies. Just taking mine out for a walk tonight. Hi lads. Hi. <laughs>